reason for we here, and what I decided to do for, like, the heck of it, these are my Super Smash Brothers Ultimate thoughts, and I guess just wanted to tell you guys how I feel about these characters. But first, before we get to the characters, I wanted to say, I don't know how long this video is going to be. It could be 30 minutes, it could be 10 minutes, but I just want to, like, basically show off the characters, tell you how I feel about them, and, you know, watch the little trailer that comes of each character. So, with well, that being that, let's get to number one, Mario. Yeah, Mario's pretty much very similar to Smash 4. It's, I guess, Smash 4, Brawl Mario, except it looks like he hits harder, and he is a bit more, you know, flashy with his, like, movement. I mean, heck, he has, like, two new taunts, and his up has Cappy, so, like, it's, like, they worked on his animations and visual looks rather than, you know, do anything new with him. I mean, heck, I like that his cape actually does look like a cape now, instead of just him, like, swishing it. But hey, that's one thing. But yeah, like, one thing I'll compliment this game is that the shading looks very nice. Like, here, let's zoom in a bit. Like, see? Look how nice Mario looks. Like, you look at uh, Smash Wii U, and, like, it looks like this, but they added more shading to the game. Also, um, we, got, we got in the background here, we have the 3DS version of Mario 3D World, not 3D World, 3D Land. And that's interesting, because that already proves to us that we have 3DS stages coming. We got his construction. I like how they had his little strap. Flood's back in, I believe, the Coliseum for 3DS. Melee Peach Castle. And I can't tell if this is Palatea's temple or... No, Skyloft. Skyloft is Zelda. The, the, the stage pit had a brawl. Point is, though, is... Mario as a character hasn't really changed since Brawl. They kind of just were like, hey, here's Flood. His down B is now his down air. And they kind of just improved from him. They, they kind of improved him through the years. I main Mario a bit. I, I kind of mean everyone, really. Like, if I can play him, I play him. And Mario's definitely the character that everyone plays. Like, he's the easiest character. He has a projectile, a reflect, a decent recovery, and if you can get flood working, a decent gimp tool. And I think he has, like, one of the best kill, I think, scores ever. Like, seriously, what does it kill of Mario? All his smashes can kill, and, like, he can pretty much rack up combos, though that's that's a story for another day. Actually, it won't be, because I'm probably going to not make a Smash video for a while. Mario's a combo guy, but, like, Smash, uh, Smash, oh, I almost said, uh, <coughs> Smash for Switch. Smash Ultimate <laughs> doesn't really have a combo system. It seems very, uh... It seems very aggressive, so characters go flying all over the place. And I'm wondering how Mario will fare in this game. Anyway, let's go back to the next character. Okay, number two is DK, Donkey Kong. Okay, Donkey Kong, let's see your trailer. Great day. The great game offensive. His taunt looks different, and he picks up people like the classic game, and he got the jungle beat. Reference for his final smash. So one thing I like to say here is I love how expressive DK is. Heck, they showed him off how expressive he is. Like <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm ready to punch, and he's straight up. Punch a bullet bull, no, I mean a big bill. Here they're trying to like do a Donkey Kong Country reference. Here you try to get great from Kirby, which isn't a smart idea. 
hear him roaring, because, you know, he was in Punch Out. And him spinning, because I swear, whenever they get the chance, I know that Duck Hunt spin. As from what I've seen, really, I think he's at Steadily 2 in a new Final Smash. I really don't know what they could change with Donkey Kong. Like, maybe make his role, like, more like uh, the country games. I mean, he has a, he, he rolls with his roll, or I mean, dash attack. But other than that, Donkey Kong pretty the same. I mean, he's the powerhouse of the game, so they just want kept him as the powerhouse for all the other games. Okay. Um, wait, I, I, I kind of played as him as Melee, but over the years, he kind of went down on my list, just because I don't like his recovery. Like, it doesn't go high enough for me. But yeah, that's Donkey Kong. Next. Link. Okay, Link. Link, you disappoint me in this game. But first, let's watch the trailer. Okay, so right off the bat, he's Breath of the Wild, Link. But he has his classic outfit. So it's not colored the same. And then he steals Zelda's Final Smash. Okay, so right off the bat, like, ugh. There's nothing against Breath of the Wild. I think it's a really nice game, even though I haven't played it. But something I did not like is that they changed him enough to be different for this game, but there's so much you could do with Breath of the Wild that, like, it kind of sucks that he's just, you know, Link, but with a coat of paint over him and slight tweaks. <sighs> I mean, he basically got the Falco treatment, if you want to be honest. I mean, if we want to be honest. I mean, he's got some new moves, and he doesn't do this, but he does this. And, yeah, yeah that's, that's all you need to know about Link. I mean, I've seen tons and tons of videos being like, Okay, here's what Breath of the Wild Link could do in Smash for Switch. And then it's called Super Smash Ultimate. And Link's kind of, like, changed here and there. Heck, what's even surprised me was that when we got Smash for Wii U, he didn't turn into, like, um, Skyward Sword Link. That was weird to me. And now, in this game, we have, like, a million different versions of, like, the Zelda characters. Like, Zelda is a Link Between Worlds. Link is Breath of the Wild. Sheik is... Something. I don't know what she's supposed to represent. Um, Gandorf is Ocarina of Time. Young Link is Majora's Mask. And Toon Link is, well, Toon Link. He represents all the Toon Link stuff. But yeah, here's Link looking awesome. Here looks like he's ready to do his forward smash. Here's his up B, which is still the same. Him holding a heart, because uh, reference. Here's him stealing Zelda's final smash. Like, Seriously, this is just Zelda's Final Smash, but, you know, with a technology sword. I mean, here's some good stab Ganondorf. Honestly, though, like, do I play Link? Sometimes, but he's not a character I go to. But he does show off Breath of the Wild, so I guess that's good enough at the end of the day. Next up is Samus, another character that, like, I kind of felt like missed an opportunity. I mean, heck, we got Prime. And we had uh, Metroid uh, Samus Returns, is that what it's called? The remake? Anyway, let's watch her trailer. Game Taunt. New Fro. She, uh, she can die. Hmm. That's interesting. He's the baby Metroid. Or Metroid, not baby Metroid. This is another M. Though she still looks like another M, which surprises me. I'm sorry you didn't go with, like, the new game, but whatever. As for Samus, she's... She has the new move, but that's not really special to her. Everyone has it. <coughs> I mean... I'm pretty sure there's other changes, but, like, I'm not gonna look up every change, every character. Besides, I'm, like charging my tablet right now. <laughs> I'm not really lazy right now. But yeah, like, Samus is Samus. 
Like, I'm sure this changes when we play the game. But again, like, Smash... The Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I can't the freaking remember the name. That game doesn't come out for six months. We don't know what they could change. For all I know, all of my complaints could be just for the build we saw at E3. When the actual game comes out, we can get like a million changes. But yeah, here's her fighting Mother Brain. I wonder if we could kill Mother Brain. A lot of this probably seem to be able to die now. Charging, purple suit, and yeah, that's about it. So this is a character is fun when I play her. Heck, she's a lot fun in Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Smash Bros. Wii U. But like, in other games, I only really touched her in 64. Okay, here's one of my old mains, Yoshi. Well, you know, before Sonic showed up, and then before Little Max showed up, and then before Bowser got good. Okay, can I click on Yoshi's video? He has a new animation for when he goes with his egg. And also his egg kind of bounced there for a second. What was that? Also, Yoshi has a new stance. What is that? I think it's a new stance. Oh, wow. It's quick hair. Okay, let's watch that again. Yeah, I think the egg... Yeah, it bounces now. Interesting. That's gonna be very helpful for Yoshi. Also, I like that uh, he holds it in his mouth. Like, kind of like modern Yoshi. It's funny, Yoshi probably is one of the few characters in this game that actually got a lot of changes his animation. Cause like, in every Smash Bros game, it changes a bit. Like in the first game, Yoshi looks like from uh, Mario 64. In the second game, it's Mario 64 slash world. Then in the third game, it's like he's standing up a bit, like kinda like, a dinosaur looking left and right. Then in Wii U and 3DS, he's standing up more upright. And in this game, he's doing it again. Like, he looks more like Yoshi Island than he does Mario in 64. And I really like that. That's for Yoshi. He was my main. And it seems like each game he gets better. Here, let's look this way. Okay, a green and yellow Yoshi. Do you watch trying to cook? Yoshi, and Yoshi's like, hey, what you doing, buddy? Him looking at his tail, like a dog, I guess. Him eating Kirby. Also, Kirby has, like, um, I want to say the original Kirby, uh, not eyes, uh, blushes. Either that, or, like, it's just a facial. Like, yeah, in every Kirby game, when Kirby gets hit in the face, he kind of makes his eyes freak out. Uh, Zelda tried to shoot Yoshi. Okay, then. Yoshi's looking angry. And the video. Um... <laughs> I, 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 I play as Yoshi basically in every game. Heck, the most time with him was in Melee. I always used to just love grabbing people, throwing eggs, and, like, doing his down... He's always so satisfied landing it. Okay, next is Kirby. Everyone's heard Puffball. <laughs> Okay, Kirby, what's... what do you gotta show me? And it better not be like 20 different, like, forms. Okay, he has like, his melee dash. That's Lomo. And like chest. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Did he, did he like, turn into... That, that was weird. He like, ate the hat, but turned into classic Link. You would think he'd get like, the... The modern Link hat. Okay. Eh, but... Eh, it kind of looks kind of the same. I mean, besides the dash, it's pretty... identical to Smash Wii U Kirby. I mean, again, like... I keep saying this, I don't know what he's gonna be like. Okay, we got a reference to Ice Kirby, or Freeze. No, no, it's Ice. Freeze, like, goes around you. It's his up B, him copying Fox, him and Little Mac about to duke it out. Him and Jigglypuff. Him and Mario. Uh, not much to say. I miss, I miss the, uh, I miss the Brawl Dojo. That actually gave us information. I mean, a video is nice, but like, the video is like a minute. Or 20 seconds, I didn't even count it. Okay, next we have Fox. 
Mm, Kyrie's kind of just been my main for, like, after Yoshi. <laughs> I really can't say, hey, I, I, I play as Kirby all the time. Eh, it varies per game. Okay, Fox. Yeah, these are all 20 seconds. Now, let's talk about the hero. Also, he didn't throw the sword. Or the sword. He didn't throw the gun. We close with that. Alright, go back a second. His... Huh. His reflection looks a bit different. Like, does it look like he just kept falling with you? All in all, Fox looks like Fox. I heard some things, like, apparently you can't go for people's shields with attacks anymore. So, like, that's gonna be a bit rough for Fox when he does, like, his illusion or his fire. Like, oh god, Fox. That, that, that's gonna be a bit rough. Heck, I was fighting a Fox and, like, he kept, like, trying to do side B on me. So, I guess in the next game, Ultimate, he's gonna be kind of bad. But here's some skydiving. Here's some holding a jigglypuff. Also, his scatter has some information. Here's him doing Fox Illusion. Here's him going long for Duck Hunt's uh, ski shoot, I think they call it. Like, you, fr you throw those and people shoot those. Him kicking. Uh, I think that's Marf. Yeah, he's getting marked in the gut. And then him looking at stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, for Fox, I played him a lot in uh, 64. Mainly, I, I played Felco, but he's for later. Um, Brawl, kind of played as him a bit. Smash 4, not really a lot. And then this game, eh, probably even less if they keep like his mood from doing all the stuff they did in the previous games. All in all, Fox is Fox. He he varies from good to bad to terrible to awesome. Like, yeah. Okay, next we got Pikachu. Pikachu has me excited because we get to have Pikachu of hats, Pikachu as a girl, and then Pikachu as a Libre. Like, what the heck? So much Pika love in this game. Is it because we got, like, uh, Pikachu does go. I mean, speaking of that game, will we get, like, the alpha from that game? Also, the cross difference and the final smash is way, well, more dramatic. All in all, I'm excited for Pikachu. Because, like, Pikachu has some new moves, and Pikachu looks like, I don't know, more fun. I, I, I didn't like Pikachu in any of the Smash games. Heck, I, I can't even, like, want to fight at Pikachu. Pikachu's always just been hard. But yeah, like, here's Pikachu. Oh, look, here's a girl Pikachu with the Aloha... The, the Aloha? The Aloha trainer's... Girl trainer's hat. I don't even know what Pikachu's doing there. A giant Pikachu. Is that a reference to, like, that one episode in the anime where, like, there were giant Pokemon? Pikachu doing his down air? A golden Pikachu. Uh, do we have the golden mushroom from Mario now? Also, like, I love how expressive everyone is in this game. Like, geez louise. Like, like everyone's just so, like, expressive. It's wonderful. And then Pikachu Libre fighting against Little Mac. And winning. <coughs> Excuse me? All in all, Pikachu is like Pikachu. I never disliked Pikachu. I just always thought Pikachu was it like my cup of tea. Oh, Pikachu's love. Okay. One last thing, Pikachu. I hope I have fun playing as you. Hey, yeah, right. <laughs> I really do. Yeah, that right too. Ugh. Look, I just hope Pikachu is fun. Like I haven't played this game, and I don't even know if like we'll ever get a demo like we did with the 3DS version. But I would love to feel how these characters play. Because everyone says they're not a port. Everyone says they're like in between. But first, all right, but now we gotta get to Luigi. Oh boy. Okay. You know how I said like I was disappointed in Link? I'm like 
10 times disappoint in Luigi. Okay, play the video. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Here's my problem, Luigi. <laughs> that was funny. He just ducks and then, like, does his. Oh, okay, Luigi's got dramatic effect now. Uh, also, his taunt change. Uh, a smidge. Like, it, it looks the same, but the face looks different now. Before, he's like, oh! But he's like, oh! But yeah, Luigi, why the heck? Whoa, it is. We need Jesus look detailed. Like, seriously, this game. This game took a lot of, like, from everything. <laughs> Like, it took the colors of Wii U, but then add shading and then, like, put, like, the detail into, like, the character's clothes. Look, look at, look at Luigi's outfit. Look at his gloves. His gloves and his outfit have, like, detail into them. Like, so actually so did this stuff. Instead of just, like, they're being just cartoonish. But yeah, let's look at the picture before I talk about Luigi. Okay, first off, we got Luigi dressing as Waluigi, and he doesn't even have the L like, upside down. And it's still green. It's supposed to be yellow. At least that's how I see these colors. Yeah, it's yellow, isn't it? Because he's opted a war ago. I mean, no, it, it, Waluigi is copying Luigi, but Wario is the bad version of Mario. So, like, why the heck isn't the L, like, fixed up? What, what happened? Then we got Luigi and a beware. Uh, okay. Then we got Luigi hitting Snake of his butt, probably like his fur jab, because that's what they change it to in Melee. Him doing his like fireball that like floats around like in the Mario Brothers games. Here's him murdering Cloud with his super buff arm, like sheesh Luigi, he even hitting the gym. And then here's him doing, I think, a pose based off Mario and Luigi. Okay, so let's, let's, let me just complain about Luigi for a bit. Why can't we get, like, Luigi's Mansion Luigi? Why is it always just, like, this semi-clone? In, in Smash Bros. 64, it was okay. It was the first game. I can forgive that. Luigi was basically just a palette swap. But by the time we got to, like, Brawl, I felt like he should have gotten, like, an overhaul of a lot of things. Like, he could have kept the dash. He kept, like, the missile. But, like, you could have changed his up and down B? Like, what happened there? Like, a lot of Luigi's attacks can stay the same. I'm just talking about, like, smashes and, like, they could change his up smash, his down smash, they could change his, uh, his, his, his special moves. Well, actually, they could, they could, they could, they could, they could keep the side B. Like, it's just that, like, would it be too hard to say Luigi mentioned him up? Heck, part of me even says, like, why stop there? Why not reference, like, Mario and Luigi games? <sighs> what if, like, Luigi had his thunder moves? Like, Luigi knows thunder attacks. No one talks about Luigi and his thunder attacks, and it cheeses me off, because I'm like, Luigi knows thunder. Play the first Mario Luigi. He learns it. Mario learns fire. Luigi learns thunder. You would think he just learned green fire, but no! Luigi learns thunder! Luigi's uh, special attack could literally be Robin's weakest thunderbolt. And that's it. Like, that could be a neutral beat. Just a little thunderbolt. Heck, if you had to curve around, I don't know. Like, it just upsets me that like, Luigi is still just Mario, but slippery. I have noticed, though, that, like, I think he still has his Mario, new Mario Brothers U jump, and he has a different run. I can't tell what the run's based off of, because I've only seen it, like, for two seconds, but, like, I want to bet that Luigi run is based off of, like, Super Mario Brothers 2. Either that, or, like, Luigi's Mansion 1, where he had, like, this wacky little run. But I'm just saying, like, Luigi, like, ugh, why can't they just make you be more Luigi's Mansion? The video started off with you going into Luigi's Mansion. We have it as a stage. Heck, this, like, Nintendo, when they don't make a new Luigi's Mansion, they always seem to reference Luigi being in that. Because, that, you know what, that was his biggest game. Luigi's Mansion is what defined Luigi. 
he was a scary cat in the cartoons and in Paper Mario, but, like, Luigi's Mansion was like, hey, Luigi has a personality. Meanwhile, Mario just, let's go. Yahoo! But, yeah. <laughs> anyway, as Luigi as a fighter, I kind of played him a lot. Like, I played him, like, in every game, except for Wii U. Like, I don't like how he feels in Wii U. I feel like I can't, like, get what I want from him. Plus, I don't like his down B. Like, people recover with that thing, but, like, I can't. So I just end up using his jump or his missile. And people usually keep my butt with that, because, like, those are moves that are really easy to read. Like, ugh. But yeah, Luigi is a character. He's okay. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, he's a fighter. He's okay. So I wish he got an uh, overhaul. But again, we got six months. I'm pretty sure someone told Sakurai at, like, the event, like, Hey, how come you didn't change Luigi to Luigi Mansion? Like, what happened? But yeah, like, ugh. Hopes that you <coughs> fix up, Luigi. Also, sorry for my coughing, but yeah, I got this cough with me for life. It won't go, it won't go away. I've had it for like a month now, and it won't leave me alone. Anyway, we got three more characters until we leave 64 and go into Melee. Okay, we got Ness. And first thing, I like that he has his bat with him in his character picture. That's nice detail. All right, play the video. Okay, right off the bat, he has a new animation for- Oh! Okay, oh, he has a new grab animation, and he has a new, like, um, side me. Oh! And, and, and his, like, uh, PK Thunder had, like, a little vertical. That's very helpful. Okay, Ness, like, you got me out of my funk. Like, something I always hated about Ness was that you could never t tell where you're gonna shoot off at unless you practice him a lot. I ended up dying because of my poor ability to tell where to aim. Okay, Ness smiling. Him with a yo-yo. And I think it says Nintendo Mother 2018? Okay. I don't play Mother, so I don't care if he gets a new game. Him doing his PK Flash. Him throwing Fox. Him and Jeff hiding from his rocket, because everyone loves to reference that for some reason. And he was a Saturn shirt. Uh... I think the most I've played of Ness was in Smash 4. Um, he's okay. I mean, he's not the worst character that I could play as, but, like, I just didn't like his upbeat. I thought it really sucked. And not because it was, like, a bad upbeat. It's just that, like, I wish they add the reticle since day one. I probably could have won some more matches as Ness, but like, like, Ness on the ground and in the air is okay. Him off the stage is when we get to the problems, especially since like a lot of people can stop his thunder trail. So yeah, I don't really play as Ness. Also, I love the freaking stitches. His bat has, like, actual wood carving, like, they made a bat. His backpack has stitches, and, like, his shirt has, like, sewing stuff. Oh my god, these renders are freaking beautiful. Nintendo, could I, can I, can I get commission from the guy who made this? Who drew these pictures? Anyway, let's get on to one of my mains, Captain Falcon. I play as Captain Falcon in every game, and... Off the bat, I gotta say I love him. I think his helmet looks a bit more shiny. The helmet and, it, and the eyes. Also, his six pack has never looked more showy than ever, like Jeez Louise Falcon. Whoa! His like tough kick has like a smoke trail now. Uh only Sonic can do that the Falcon. Whoa! His, like, his, like, that was, like, his f forward smash, right? Like, here, come back a bit. Yeah, like, 
he doesn't just elbow people anymore. He like, he like hits someone with his back of his head or something. Yeah, that's new. Um, I think that's like the last animation he has of his, like, this, uh, Falcon Kick. Him doing his side B. Him ready to fight Little Mac. Him charging up his clone. Uh, I mean, charging up against the clone. His Falcon Punch looking crazy, like Jesus Louise. And then Blood Falcon. Also, um,. They're showing the word hell. I'm surprised Nintendo would do that. I get to be more edgy nowadays. I mean, it got banned and smashed, so like they probably don't care anymore. <coughs> all in all, Captain Falcon is like Captain Falcon. I love him. I made him, and <sighs> I played a lot. I played. I played him a lot in all the games. 64, Brawl, Melee, uh, both 3DS and Wii U. And I'm gonna probably uh, probably be playing as him a lot in this game. You know, when I buy a Switch. Uh, God help me with that. Anyway, Jigglypuff. Uh, honestly, like, Jigglypuff has always been that character that kind of varies for me. I played Jigglypuff a bit in like, 64 in Melee. Not at all, not at all in Brawl, in a bit. A teeny like 10% in uh, who are you? Jeez! Aw, same final smash. What, what moves can Jigglypuff learn? Oh, okay. That was bad timing for you, Jinx. But yeah, like... Like, Jigglypuff's probably the most, I guess, most black. Like, it really all stays the same in every game. They're learning new moves. Heck, the final smash is the same. But yeah, you really have Wolf Star puffing it up, being a giant, making Gander fall asleep, slapping Toon Link, and, and, and holding an apple. I don't know, like, Jigglypuff to me always felt like a character that, like, I don't know, was average. I mean, heck, I call a couple of Jigglypuffs and purposely never evolved them just so I could be like, Hey, look, I have Jigglypuff and she's like level 40. Oh, yep. I don't know why I did that. But Jigglypuff to me is okay. I mean, I stopped caring about Jigglypuff being the same since, like, uh, Brawl. I was like, eh, Jigglypuff the same, who cares? I never really dive into her too deep. I stopped. Playing her in Brawl? What? Uh, well, maybe a bit. I, I remember playing her a lot in 64 and Melee, but like, Wii U and Brawl, it kind of just like was like, meh. Anyway, that's all of 64, and uh, I guess next video I can do all of Melee. Though, though like, I'm probably going to have to speed through Melee, because Melee has a lot more new characters than old. Like, let's see here. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 characters introduced in Melee. And then we got Brawl, and then we got Wii U, and then we got the new characters. Hey, I, I guess I realized there's like two spaces here. Huh. Interesting. Does that mean they're gonna like have a trailer and then like introduce more new characters? Huh. Now the question is, will the new characters be Echo Fighters, or will they be a new character? Because a lot of people have been saying, Simon Belmont's going to show up at Smash. And I'm like, okay, I've heard of him. He's cool. Don't really know if I'll play him. I'm guessing he'll mostly use a whip, because that's where I see him from. But yeah, that's quite interesting. They can't explain. Maybe you can, like, tell, tell me in my video, like, hey, check it out. Some guy found out there are two slots for more characters in Smash. Now to be fair, if we just got Ridley and Inkling, I kind of feel like that'd be a really lousy thing for Nintendo to do. I mean, like, maybe nine more characters, maybe a ten. Because, like, it's like, everyone came back. 
And we threw in two new characters. Meh, I don't like it. Plus, <laughs> I feel I, I like judging by how we have basically 65. Like, once we get the game set up, it, we'll have everyone, and it'll just be like a little slot for like one person. So like, I'm hoping when we get to like, you know, the actual full game, the numbers even. If it's not, you're gonna probably see me go like, we yeah, have such an uneven game. Also, before I leave this video, I just wanna say this. For the love of God, make sure when this game comes out, God, this is, you, you have the power to do this. <sighs> make sure when this game comes out, it either has everyone by number or with their franchise. Cause it bugged me to no ends that like we had Mario and everyone else from Mario together, but then Dr. Mario decided to hang out with Lucina and Dark Pit. <coughs> and that cheesed me off to no end. Like, I hated that so much. <laughs> like, I kept just saying, Dr. Mario, go with the Mario characters. You have the Mario symbol. But you decided to stick with the clones. And it's just like, ugh. But yeah, <laughs> that's going to do it for this part. I, I could probably call this part, like, uh, let's see, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate 64 character fonts? Eh. I don't know what I'll call this video, but, like, I'm going to do it in segments. Um, I'll probably record Melee next, because I got nothing better to do with my life. So, like, I'll see you guys next time. Maybe I'll call this part, part one. Maybe I'll call it, like, just a part. But I will see you guys with my next video. So, like, share, subscribe, and press that bell. Bye!